Well, medical science has also made significant leaps forward when it comes to reproduction and fertility. Many parents can now choose not only the sex of their babies, but even the color of their eye. Now, this next level of genetic science is giving rise to so-called designer babies. CCTV's Tracy Tannen reports on the progress and the controversy in the field. Tall, olive skin, brown hair, and blue eyes. These aren't descriptions found in an online dating profile. They're choices available to those who are sperm shopping. Sperm banks around the world tout stocks from what they say are extraordinary donors, often emphasizing intelligence, beauty, and athletic ability. But experts say transferring those traits to a child is not so simple. There's no single gene that's responsible for intelligence. And even if somebody were more intelligent, they may have other areas that they're not as strong. And maybe emotional intelligence rather than aptitude is a place that they excel or fail at. But experts say genetic modification holds great promise in limiting disease. Last year, a group of Chinese scientists from Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou announced they had genetically modified human embryos to remove a tiny part of a gene responsible for a fatal blood disorder. There are almost 6,000 diseases in humans that are caused by single gene mutation. So if a man and a woman both carry a mutation, I think that we're going to be able to someday have the technology to fix the embryo or prevent that disease from being expressed in their offspring. The experiment has not been without controversy. We're not only risking their health and well-being, we're also altering the society that they'll live in. Because I think what you can see happening all too easily is that it would be the very affluent who would be able to afford these essentially upgrades to their offspring. And you would get a competitive and commercial dynamic setting in where those children who were either genetically enhanced in some way would be treated differently. New York-based firm GenePeaks uses DNA from potential sperm donors and recipients to create virtual embryos, screening for more than 600 diseases. Doctors say that the most important goal is a healthy baby. The goal is to not have triplets, to not have twins, to have a single healthy baby, to prevent miscarriages, to be open and have access for all patients, single moms by choice, same-sex couples, uh, help them have healthy babies. And I think that the science of the future will allow us more genomic information and that we'll get better and better at what we do. Despite the promise, many experts in the field remain opposed to all this research, saying it's dangerously close to crossing ethical lines, especially in regards to gene editing. We already have something like 40 countries that have laws against it. Opinion polls show that people recoil from the idea. So the idea that it's inevitable, I think, is um, it's just trying to set the stage for moving forward when, in fact, we should call this a no-go zone. Last month, the UK became the first country in the world to license genetic modification of human embryos for research purposes. A slow crawl, perhaps, towards not just designer babies, but genetically modified human beings. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York.